A motion by Anambra South lawmaker Senator Ifanyuba, co-sponsored by 30 others, stated that the current production sharing contract, which came into operation in 1993, requires that it be reviewed in 50 years and every five years thereafter. The motion also stated that the Production Sharing Contract Act stipulates that where the price of crude oil exceeds $20 per barrel, it will be reviewed to ensure that the federal government gets the benefit from the additional revenue. Note also that as a result of the law review of the amendment of the PXC Act, the federal government has lost about $21 billion, which is equivalent to $7 trillion naira, over the period of 20 years. The crude oil price hit $20 in 2004, adding that the 15-year anniversary of the Production Sharing Contract Act was on the 1st of January 2008, yet the necessary reviews were not made. The excess, the difference between the $20 agreed on the contract should belong to both parties. And so I see it as NFPC negligence and to a large extent recklessness for not uh, implementing an existing contract. The Minister of Finance, in their revenue profile, provided in, 1990, in, in, in 2019, 320 billion. They didn't get that money, and they said that is the reason, among other reasons, why the budget of 2019 is unable to perform. In this year, Mr. President, they have put 160 billion. If this act is not amended for us to assess this money, it means that the budget deficit that we are going to get in 2020 will be beyond the 3% threshold as provided by the Fiscal Responsibility Act. Ruling on the motion, the President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, said a bill seeking the amendment of the Production Sharing Contract Act will be brought to the floor of the Senate on Thursday with intention of quick passage. The Senate will liaise with the executive arm of government to ensure that the arrears of revenue accruable to the federal government as a result of the non-review of the act is received from oil companies as soon as possible. From the National Assembly, Cho China Ndukwe Zainka, STV News.